Hi, Scott Lackman, 4510 TV. Today, viewers, uh, we're backstage uh, in the staff room of the Woolworths Caboolture South Store. With me, Margaret McKean, Brett, Assistant Manager and Brent, Manager of the store. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Good morning Scott. Morning, Scott. Um, now, why we're here is um, we wanted to recap and revisit Margaret McKean's story. About six months ago on 4510 TV, we featured the cancer support group in Caboolture that Margaret's a part of. And, um, and this month being Cancer Awareness Month, and particularly next week for breast cancer, Cancer. Margaret, tell us what's happening. All the Woolworths stores in this area, in our local area, which I'm going to name, we start off with Woodford, Beewar, Central Lakes, Morayfield, Caboolture South, Moray Shire, Burpengary, Banksia Beach, Bribey Island, Burpengary, and Castle Dine stores are all going pink for the week. We are going to do a big fundraiser for all types of cancers and to get it out there and get people to help us to try and find a cure to get people back to life. Yeah, definitely. Uh, Margaret, you're very passionate about the work that you do and um, to bring it into your workplace and now spread across several stores that you just mentioned. Um, let's go to Brett uh, for your input, mate. Um, what does it mean for you when you've got um, team members like Margaret trying to promote this message? Oh, it's fantastic to see someone available to the community to support those affected in the community. Um, obviously, there's a lot of people and their families and relatives that are affected by breast cancer and many other cancers. So to have that person available as such a predominant feature in the community is fantastic. Um, and Brent, for you as a manager of Caboolture South Store and um, manager for numerous years, um, we know off camera Margaret's spoken about where she went through her own personal journey and, and as a manager you've supported that journey. Yeah. Uh, let's talk about that briefly. Oh look, you know, for me I think it was a given, you know, uh, I've known Margaret for a lot of years and before she came to this store I've known Margaret but, uh, you know, for anyone that's in your life that's going through cancer, they're, they're doing the hard work. Uh, for me as a store manager it was a given, it was just naturally that I was going to look after Margaret and you know, as best I could uh, through the highs and the lows and we had a few, hey? Um, and, and luckily everything went really, really well for Margaret and Margaret just seems to be a fantastic, um, you know, support and go-to person for, the, uh, for her friends and local community and um, it just seems to get, keep growing, getting bigger, doesn't it, Margaret? Mm. Um, and Brent, can I ask you further, from a Woolworths perspective, obviously, um, you know, multinational company, uh, but on a more local area, local level for our region, um, what does it mean for you, like these variety of stores getting on board? Oh, I think it's fantastic. I think it's, uh, you know, it's, it's great for the cause. I think it's good for a company like Woolworths with the sheer size of us um, and, you know, the, the control we have, you know, I guess uh, you know, we have over foot traffic and customers that come. The exposure that, you know, we can give to something locally is fantastic. Um, I think, you know, traditionally we support, you know, one major fundraiser, but I think it's just great to be expanding into um, breast cancer and uh, other cancers. Yeah. Um, now, Margaret, let's go through um, what can the public expect when they visit one of these local Woolworths stores in our region uh, next week? Well, the biggest expect is going to be when they walk in the store, they're going to go, wow. OK. The store is going to be pink. Wow. Based, and the staff will be all dressed up in pink. Um, we will also be having a couple of big raffles from the reps that provide stock for us. Um, Mission Australia have donated a big camper. Cadbury's and one of our beautiful reps have donated our beautiful big teddy bear here. And that's all going to 100% of that money is all going into the, the fundraising for cancer. Um, also, we have the girls' night in on the 22nd, on the 24th of Saturday, the 24th at um, 165 King Street at the St Lawrence Church. We have a big girls night in that night and we will also have a big raffle where all the ladies that have got a table there that night um, have donated up to $100 worth of products and that's and there's 10 prizes in this one big raffle. So that's all that. Um, I'll also have a lot of merchandise, all the new beginnings stuff. It's the beginning of our new life, of our new butterfly and 
It's going to fly away and help us and save us. Excellent. Um, as always on 4510 TV, we'll have some links uh, for those other events that Margaret's mentioned, the Girls' Night In. Uh, next Thursday at the Caboolture South Store, you'll have the local radio, 101.5 FM. Uh, they'll be here uh, doing their live broadcast for the breakfast show. Uh, so maybe a sausage sizzle and a donation in the tin as well. Um, Brett, um, some final comments from you, mate. Um, just again, that energy and that support that you're giving across the stores and particularly as Margaret, anything you'd like to add? I just keep supporting um, the breast cancer group and it does go to, towards locals affected and their families. So just keep supporting these guys in the great cause. Um, and we will touch, uh, just to finalise this morning, um, we did visit Margaret for her support group uh, six months ago, as I mentioned at the start. You just told me off camera you're still getting um, people attending, uh, growing in numbers with that support. Um, and tell me about a lady approached you last week. Yes, a lady rang me last week um, and she's just been diagnosed with a secondary, but um, it's the fact that she feels comfortable wanting to be around people that have been through the same or going through the same and you do it's nice and relaxing just to sit there and have a chat with people that will be there that understand you and know what you're going through and know what you've been through and it's just open to men and women and we do have men and women and all coming and even also your support partner too and that's where it's really important that that support partner is also recognised as what they've done to help you get through it too so they all belong the thing and what we are doing too with, with the bis, with the big fundraising of this pink week the local people are really going to benefit out of it from our support group because not only the BCNA and the Cancer Council and the Cancer Foundation are going to get money from it. All the say the support group is we're going to create a hospital rescue pack for people that are going through to have surgical cancer. And that hospital rescue pack has got real, it'll have a travel a bag, kit bag, and it will have all top quality stuff from the body shop in there, really good quality um, moisturiser, gels and teeth cleaners and all that sort of stuff to help you to get through and it is available to people and that's what we're going to, we're going to be making these hospital rescue packs up and giving them out to these people when they're doing them. So, yeah. Great effort once again. Margaret McKean from Caboolture um, Cancer Support Group. Uh, men and women uh, and, and partners and, and family always welcome to attend your events. Uh, gentlemen, Brent, um, store manager of, of Caboolture South um, and Brett, assistant manager. Gentlemen, um, probably thank you for your support of Margaret as well. Um, I know on a personal level, but also representing your store and the, and the local stores, um, it's great to see Woolworths getting behind um, such a great thing. So. Thank you all. Oh, thank, thank you very thank much. Thank you. And thank everyone, you so. come and visit Woolworths because Woolworths are the best. <laughs> <There we go. laughs>